Hello everyone and welcome and all to my Synergy Lab where we concoct with greatest glee the best synergies you shall ever see. So come with me and you shall see the best synergies concocted by me. Look, I will admit I may have got a little bit turned around upside down there. But wait a minute and just sit right there and I'll sort everything out. Look, I thought maybe a sudden fresh prince could fix my problems, but I guess it turns out that it just doesn't. Uh, imagine if nobody had heard of the show I'm referencing. A sudden fresh prince? So, like, one freshly born? Like, straight out... Hang on a minute. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just everybody calm down. All right, everybody calm down. Today we're gonna do, well, something completely different, which I think you will all appreciate muchly, and it is a very pretty spectacle. Almost a dance twixt tears, and the air, I guess, that they pass through is probably the accurate statement there. So we begin with a humble combination of Godhead and soy milk. You know, I think that's, I think that's a nice, healthy breakfast. One part milk, one part divine power. Good to keep you going well into the afternoon. Very, very nice in that regard. And we're going to make use of, honestly, a trinket that I've been really enjoying recently, but haven't found a proper way to really get some goodness out of it. I just haven't. I'm actually going to take Squeezy just because it's some hearts that are right there. I think that makes sense, right? If I need some hearts and the hearts are right there, I mean, you just take them, all right? Like, that is the rule set of all organ harvesters everywhere. So now we're going to add something, just a little little something something. Just get a little bit of splash, you know, a little bit, little bit of holy splash going on there. Got to get a little tiny bit of holy splash, also known as what happens when the uh, heavenly entities look i couldn't decide which god i wanted you know i was thinking about zeus i was thinking about odin i was thinking about anubis you know i was considering my godshams which is god for options and i was like who do i want to be jumping into a pool and doing a cannonball and i actually can't decide who it would be i think zeus makes the most sense because it could be kind of thunderbolty and i think he could totally get behind that but then again at the same time imagining the god of gods and lord of the sky having like a wee and cannonballing into a pool in mount olympus probably not something that he did but then again he did turn into a swan and well we'll not discuss what he did while as a swan but swans do have a lot of water affinity so i think that's a strenuous connection that we can indeed make today <sighs> i think i need to just take a moment and pause just, just for a second and just just hold it hold it back a little bit between fresh princes and a, a, a cannonballing's youth I think we've really broached subjects that just just don't really need broaching is uh, the best way I can say it and I think I just need to realize that hang on a minute Let's just, for just a second, be somewhat approaching normal. So we're going to cry. I know, I know, me approaching normal. But no, no, I believe, all right? I can be sus suspicious, not suspiciously mature. Yes, I can be suspiciously mature. You have no idea. <laughs> How would that even work? I say, that gentleman over there seems very well to do. Fantastically dressed, speaking impeccably, being very well mannered, seems to have his life together. I'm very suspicious about this. No one is that mature. He's clearly up to no good. I mean, that's just not a thing that would happen at all. So, uh, but no, when the cause is there, I can be sensible, you know, I can be normal, I have that ability, it's just I often choose to not exercise it. So, look, you just gotta be reasonable with me. Ooh, actually having a permanent Loki's Haunt Beam really helped out there, we're kind of absolutely destroying him, it's just a very nice little furious focus. And off we go to the next floor, so we're getting there. We are definitely 
getting there. So what I'm going to get now is we're going to go grab a little bit of a purse. That's that's the wrong place. Here it is right here. I always forget where I keep my mum's purse. It's not a great sentence really, is it? <laughs> Actually, I do want to get a few little defensive items. Just, just a just a slight tiny amount, just a little bit, and by a little bit, I mean obviously quite a lot. I need to be very kind of tall. Look at me, all pretty. I got a little purse. I got a little bow. Those are the two things that I got that are pretty, but they are very pretty, and I got them. All right. So if we grow ourselves the hookworm and a little bit of a wiggle waggle, we can have this kind of pattern going on, which I very much like. Right? It's just kind of ooh. Uh, what was that? No, it's just kind of ooh, guys. Don't you worry. It's just kind of ooh. So we're gonna have that going forward, almost like tentacle tendrils following in our holy wake, and that is very. Very cool. Like I'm surfing on a wave of divine fury, which I imagine would be a fantastic thing to surf upon. <sighs> so earlier, actually, I do have a I do have a story. Earlier, there is a kind of brand new sort of parkour area. I say parkour area. That's a weird way to describe it. Well, not exactly weird, but not really too accurate. It's it's like a huge indoor activity complex, and it's got like a huge trampoline area. You know, like those trampoline fun houses that have wall trampolines and just trampolines all over the place. Just a load of trampolines. And then next to it, there is also a sort of Ninja Warrior Total Wipeout esque obstacle course where you can race people around it. So me and a group of friends, we went for an hour slot and just had a lot of fun. And the first thing that I will say is I never realized that trampolining is so goddamn exhausting. You don't realize, but all of us at the end of the hour were freaking dead. We were just there like, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. We looked like we'd been dragged through a wet hedge backwards. We really did. It was it was something else. So that's my first observation. Okay, seriously, trampolining is hard goddamn work. It's also it's also a lot of fun. Like I've never really ever gone properly trampolining. In fact, I never have. I didn't really know what to expect, but it's so so cool just bouncing between them in a massive line, getting up speed. And uh, you know, admittedly, there are times where I'm like, I am totally out of control right now. And you know me. And you know me, surrounded by people I could injure in a bouncy-based environment, you're probably like, oh god, oh god, what did you do? Well, I will have you know, I will have you know, okay, I hardly didn't do anything. And I know I specify that with hardly, but I hardly didn't, okay? My only issue is that my glasses are surprisingly loose of late, <laughs> which I actually... So I, I say, of late, my glasses, yes, surprisingly loose. Now, for some reason, they've kind of just sort of decided to not fit my face anymore, which is annoying, I will admit. It is definitely on the annoying side. But let's grab the star of the show, then. It is this trinket, because, look, we get this beautiful formation on each side of me, which just looks absolutely great. These lovely little gloomy particles spinning round us in circles, and I think it's fantastic. And this really was the inspiration, and I'll tell you about my glasses later on. We're also going to grab ourselves a little bit of strange attractor. Yes, indeed. We're also going to get a little bit of mysterious liquid. Look at it go. Yes, and then it eventually will do nice little splatters. Good old little splatters. Don't you just love them? Oh, I most certainly do. I do like it when I move around a little bit. And then we're also going to take a little bit of continuum just to give it that extra nice little glow. And then when we end up in the center of a room, we just have these lovely lines going all around the place. And it just looks generally fantastic. You know, it's nice when you can describe something as generally quite fantastic. And uh, what we are going to do is complete the rest of this floor, and then I will expand the synergy some more. Yes, indeed. That would kind of be like a catchphrase if this was a show. So we're going to end up with quite the ridiculous level of 
particles going on over here, but don't worry, it will get decidedly more controlled. But, you know, it's kind of like a fun house, you know, lots of colourful particles through the air, attracting people, magnetising them. I think that's definitely kind of cool, just sort of uh, a stormy type approach. I like it. I do. But because my glasses were very loose on my face, it would mean that when I was jumping around and stuff, they would, well, come off a little bit. And one of the things that was there is this kind of platform that you go up some steps, you stand on it, and then you leap off, land on an angled trampoline, and go flying onto a giant, soft, inflatable uh, sort of crash mat thing. And it's a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. But, well, I forgot to consider my loose glasses. But let's finish, finish the synergy for now, now that I've left you with bated breath. So... What we have going on for us is anti-gravity. And firstly, look at the magnetism that that gives us. Like, look at that. It's distorting the entire world. But then, but then, look at how wonderful the glow and then vom. Is that not awesome? Like, how... Vroom. Is that not so cool? Like that formation and vroom, vroom. Like it's just, it's just really nice, isn't it? I think it's absolutely fantastic and it doesn't even really need to get any more complicated than that. I mean, you can add a little bit of mum's eyeshadow, you can add a little bit of mum's contact and then you can have a few different spiciness going on to it, but in terms of this, you just get it going on lovely, and then vroom, vroom, and vroom, vroom. Like, does it not just look beautiful? I absolutely adore it. I really, really do. And we are going to get ourselves piercing at tears, because we don't want it to get interrupted by anything. But this really is the core synergy. And the thing is, you can definitely end up adding a load of stuff to this. <laughs> I love the magnetism build-up. I really, really do. <laughs> and... Vroom. Vroom. There we go. Oh, it didn't even kill him. All right. Vroom. Oh, see, you, you can tell, right? The vroom sound effect is definitely what's going on here. And then the lovely little end bit. See, obviously, when there are enemies in the room, you got to release it rather quickly. Otherwise, you end up in whoa, and then that little burst at the end there. Because the godhead I want you is very much going for it. But what I love about this as well is when we have this kind of darkness level on, we just have this lovely grow glowing tail followers. And because of the tail limit, it does start to shrink the tail. It cuts it off at a certain point, look. And then the tail that I left behind just gets fired out and actually attacks everyone. Like, how much does this work on just so many levels? It's absolutely fantastic. And you may be wondering to yourself, hang on a minute, does this work as well as I want it to when it comes to uh, Tech Zero. Yes, technically speaking, Tech Zero, like Tech Zero, like Tech. Technically speaking, you can indeed uh, add Tech Zero to this, and it works, well, rather well. And it's something that we will see a little bit later on. But for now, we're going to keep it nice and pure. So, I went on this lovely trampoline attack thing and as I was flying through the air I thought you know what I'm gonna do a flip I'm gonna freaking do a flip and it's going to be amazing you have no idea this flip is going to be fantastic and it was a fantastic flip don't get me wrong it was an absolutely incredible flip I actually can't do this because I will die because I don't have the right defensives and health to actually allow for the boss rush, because the magnetism is going to instantly put people into me. And by the way, in case you're wondering what happens if I just let it go naturally, well, you just end up with uh, these kind of odd little things, and it's not really as good as the vom vom. So, I can't believe I have to do this, but I do have to pass on the boss rush just this once in Synergy Lab, because I do have a strong feeling that I am probably going to die, and I'm not entirely sure I'm comfortable 
with uh, that happening. So let's go grab some loveliness. We'll get the holy mantle. I think that makes sense. And then we just kind of need general health. So, I don't know, a part of me does kind of like having this going to it, because then when the vwoms go round, look, you see all the shaking? It very much focuses it on this central lovely ring, because that's how far the glow extends look. So it looks like I really am in this portal of destruction in the center, which I think is gorgeous. But again, it's just it's a preference. It's a preference. We all got our preferences. Ain't nobody going to judge you for them. Well, I mean, maybe they will. In fact, probably most certainly they will. Now that I think about it, people tend to judge damn people. So yeah, I'm flying through the air, and I do a somersault, and my glasses come flying off my face face and basically go like a torpedo and smack into a poor innocent bystander and well they didn't see that coming <laughs> but no no they didn't it was it was really really quite bad and they were like ow and I was like oh my god I'm so sorry but apart from that it actually managed to pass without incident genuinely managed to pass without incident so you should be proud of me you should for sure for reals be proud of me, because I did it, guys. I actually did it. I actually did it. <sighs> Good times. Good times. I also went on the, like, professional bounce area, because it was, like, an area just reserved for people who really, really are into their bouncing that has bouncier trampolines that you can get even higher. And you had to prove that you were capable of using them by doing, like, little tricks that you could actually have never had this room before. How have I found a new room again after all this time? That is absolutely absurd and awesome. Look at that. That is so good. <laughs> Oh, that is absolutely so, so good. But yeah, I had to do, like, pr prove I could do a somersault, prove I uh, could uh, control myself while bouncing properly, and all stuff like that, and I did. I'm actually, the objective is, is to bounce up and kind of run up a solid wall and then leap off and land on the trampoline, and at that point, I was like, huh, all right, I guess I'll try it. So I bounced really high, threw myself at this wall, and, well, just kind of smacked against it and ended up really hurting my hand as it happened, so... Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't the biggest fan of that. All right, so we'll get Tech Zero now, just so you can see it. First of all, how good does it make that look? And then there we go. Like, there is definitely, like, look at that when I first do it. And it always makes this electricity go off to the side. I don't really know why, but that initial war is just, that initial what, sorry, war is great. And then if I go back to the angled and the wiggle waggle approach, we actually get this. How good is that? Look at that. And it's just really good, isn't it? It just goes and goes and goes and just creates that lovely little box. I think that is fantastic too. But I kind of also like the wub wubbiness, just as we get that, and then it's just just great. Just absolutely great. I'm really, really proud of this one. Obviously, it goes kind of absolutely mental when we allow it. Because we lose a little bit of the green glow and gain a lot more of the white one. And honestly, I definitely think this works both ways. I think this is a great synergy with or without the Tech Zero. But, you know, Tech Zero is all new and exciting. So I at least wanted to show you what it was like with it. Which I think is fair enough. So I'm kind of interested to see... How the hush deals with uh, this. I'm actually not a- Whoa, okay, that completely destroyed it. I'm actually not convinced it's going to be too effective, but I don't know. So the actual parkour zone then, that was like the Total Wipeout Ninja Warrior race aspect, was a lot of fun. I, we all raced each other and it was great, and we all managed most of the obstacles. But at the end, there was a set of monkey bars that required you to monkey bar along as normal, which is fine. But then you had to go higher in the monkey bars. You had to raise elevation while doing it, which is an incredibly difficult feat. And by the time I got to that point, by the time I'd finished race the obstacle, because I was clear in the lead at this point, I had like 30 seconds on the guy behind me, and I got there, and I looked at them, and I realized that <sighs> I'm fucking just so, exa so exhausted. I put my hands on the monkey bars, started swinging. Ah, I'm gonna take that as a side. I'm gonna take that as a side. Yes, look at that. I think that worked out quite well. Jesus, look at it go. 
look at it go. All right, on our way. Here we go. <laughs> oh, the blue glow. Oh, wow. That is absolutely decimating him. It looks like he's being destroyed in a wave of lightning. Oh, amazing. And I'm actually taking a rather large amount of damage here. Fortunately for, the, for me, I can't actually pull the hush off my core, so that's nice. Between having the soul and this ring, I should actually be quite resistant to any given tier attack. There are a few are definitely getting through. I'm actually not sure if the hush is where this synergy lab is going to end. Because I think I'm actually damaging myself with this synergy. Which isn't really too conductive. Honestly, that's not great. Well, actually, no, it must be conductive. It's covered in electricity. <laughs> hey. <laughs> but no, I put, I went on the monkey bars, uh, did one swing, got to the bit where I had to go up, and I was just like, I, I can't. I've got nothing left in the tank. I, I submit. I submit. And obviously, we went round, and that happened uh, to all of us. And uh, eventually, we uh, gave way and let these couple kids have a go at the obstacle course. And they got round to the monkey bars bit, and they just did it freaking perfectly. Like, genuinely, they did it absolutely wonderfully, just straight up, and it really makes you uh, wonder. Initially, it was like, oh my god, we apparently suck at this, but then you realize that, obviously, as they're kids, they have a lot less uh, mass to actually monkey bar along, so the strength requirement is a lot less, and it seems to be really weirdly scaling, and I am just gonna die here. Like, I feel like my own synergy is gonna kill me, because at this point we have so much on screen that we do actually have the I just get injured by being kind of near the tears that I'm outputting situation, which honestly isn't really the best. Oh no. Oh god, no. I don't wanna die. <laughs> oh, I don't wanna die. <laughs> yeah, look, I just died to myself. I am the cause of my own death. Why am I the cause of my own death? What did I do to deserve this? What did I do? So there you go, guys. A little bit of a dangerous synergy, I'll admit, but... Uh, Alright then. <laughs> Damn children on monkey bars. Like you've enjoyed this, subscribe for more. I apologize for it being cut short, but there you go. It is very, very deadly. It can't actually kill the hush fast enough before it self-kills me, which is probably an issue in design here. Like you've enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. A oh, good boy. You've been